Tonight on part two of our exclusive look into the Mercer Bears football program, we tackle topics such as plans for a stadium, the impact football will have on student enrollment, and what fans can expect as head coach Bobby Lamb rebuilds a Division I football program from scratch. Well, first of all, I bring a lot of experience. I've uh, been, been in coaching at this level for 25 years. Uh, at a university very similar to this. Uh, I'm from the state of Georgia, have a lot of ties in this state, and everywhere I go, people know who I am, and uh, that gets my foot in the door. So I think that's important. Uh, and then, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a coach that we're going to be aggressive, we're going to play hard-nosed football, we're going to be disciplined, uh, and I think that is, is the way you have to be as a student here. The topic that has created the most buzz around the Mercer University campus is where the Bears will play in the fall of 2013. The final plans of the location are scheduled to be announced mid-summer as the committee plans to build an 8 to 10,000 seat stadium. Students have voiced their opinions about wanting the stadium as close to campus as possible, if not on campus, and Coach Lamb seems to agree with the Mercer population. There's a, a, a uh, good chance that it's going to be on this campus somewhere. Uh, I know we've been in a series of meetings. Uh, we should have some announcements coming in July on that. Uh, that's going to be a big part of it. Uh, but I, I really uh, think that uh, somewhere on this campus will be uh, our stadium and uh, it'll be Mercer Stadium and uh, the ability for our faculty, staff, and students to come to the games and uh, not very, have a, a long walk will be uh, essential. After talking to Coach Lamb about the speculation of where to put the new football stadium, it seems like right here on the intramural field would be the best bet. Not only is it on campus and close to all the other athletic venues, but it's also within walking distance for faculty, staff, and students. In addition to football, the stadium and field house will also be used for Mercer's newly established lacrosse team, while staff and players will utilize the field house for office space and locker rooms. Soccer will also be able to use the field and a new stadium will give Mercer the opportunity to host tournaments, concerts and graduations. Well, I think it's going to create a lot of enthusiasm among students and I think you'll see, uh, see uh, a great deal of student participation at the games. I think it'll bring a lot of people in the community onto campus and I think, uh, I think it'll make Mercer an even more attractive place uh, for young people to study. Bringing football to the middle Georgia region will also increase enrollment at Mercer University. According to national studies at similar institutions, adding football to a college institution will result in a 100 to 300 increase in student enrollment when the program is fully implemented. Not only will a new football team be reinstated, but also the need for cheerleaders, marching band, and a pep squad to enhance campus life for all students, faculty, alumni, and friends. When I come into Macon and go out into various restaurants, everybody's always stopping me and they're excited about uh, football coming. And uh, of course, uh, the students are excited and I'm getting emails constantly about, you know, tryouts and when can we have tryouts for students. And so that's exciting. Uh, and I think there's an excitement level that people can't wait. Uh, and it's going to be here before you know it. Mm -hmm. Coach Lamb also plans on holding tryouts for students in the spring of 2012. The tryouts will be open to all students on campus after receiving several requests for a chance to walk on the team. Playing in the Pioneer League against teams such as Butler, Jacksonville, Drake, and Dayton, Coach Lamb knows the first year playing with freshmen and sophomore won't be a walk in the park. But according to President Underwood, repositioning Mercer into the ranks of the more elite private institutions is possible with community enthusiasm and Coach Lamb. I am uh, very confident uh, that under Bobby Lamb's leadership and with the support of the community, and given the uh, quality of young men uh, who play football here in Georgia that uh, will have a very successful program. The addition of Division I football to the middle Georgia region will benefit not only the university but the community as well. As Mercer continues climbing the ladder to reinstate football after a 70 year break, the enthusiasm and excitement can be felt among the university. Come fall 2013, fans will pile in a brand new stadium, cheering on the orange and black for the first time since 1892. Welcome back, Mercer Bears football.